Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? This is Trina, your host. We are live at In Cosmetics, New York City right now. I have this guy next to me. <laughs> this is Mark Chandler. Hi, Mark. It's nice to see you in person. Oh, it's great to see you. And you've been formulating skincare products for, what, like 30 years? Yes, yes, then and then that some. That is a really long time. <laughs> you know what that means? What does that mean? I'm old. <laughs> Yes. What sort of things do you do? Well, we uh, we design uh, skin care products, uh, hair care products, uh, but a good focus is on skin. So I don't know if you guys have ever put on a lotion and it just feels like tacky or gross or the skin care savior, if you're still there, um, you talk a lot about how people won't wear sunscreen because they don't like the way it feels. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the sensory experience of your skincare formulation, let's say it's a lotion, and Mark is going to help us understand maybe some of what makes a good formulation, some of what makes a bad formulation, and also some terminology. What's going on when we have a bad like lotion experience? What are what are we feeling, and what ingredients cause that? Well, uh, that's been something that's been interesting in the industry for a long time because what we found is that. Uh, most formulators are really not formulating correctly, okay. changing the, the big variable in what makes a product feel different. You would think it was the emollients. You based, would think so. Okay. Based on the way everybody at the show promotes them. All right, but, preach Mark Chandler. All right, what I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I may have to stand up. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> is, oh, wait, somebody thinks they know the answer. Ooh, um, okay, tell us hey, what it you've is. Hey, you've heard me before. It's, uh, <laughs> It's actually the emulsifier. The emulsifier. Okay, so explain to our newbies, Ooh. what's an emulsifier? Uh, an oil and water do not peacefully coexist. Right, we know that from like a vinaigrette or like dressing exactly. you put on our salad, right? Exactly, okay. yeah. All right. until you shake it up, but then it goes back. Creamy Italian dressing is cheating. <laughs> uh, but creamy Italian salad dressing has an emulsifier in it so okay. that you have little droplets of that emollient mm -hmm. in a sea of water. Most people are uh, promoting and designing different emollients for different skin feel. Right. We break it down into five different uh, steps along okay. the way. One is appearance, where okay. you have a jar, and you kind of look at it and poke at it. Right. Okay, and do you have some words to describe like what you're poking at and what you're seeing? Uh, well, it's yeah, there's you know, technical words like integrity of shape. And, Ooh, uh, integrity of shape. Yes, okay. yes. And then you have pickup, which is when you first touch it and maybe pick it up so you'll have peaking. Okay, so how much comes off on the finger? All yes, right. and then you rub it in your fingers and do like this, uh, whether it's sticky and then rub out. It's when we're rubbing it on uh, to our skin. Okay. And appearance, pick up and rub out, which is the moment of truth. The moment of truth, why so? What's, what is rub out or how do you define it visually? Well, uh, that's when it's being applied. So it's that, uh, that look, that first touch, right. and then the rub out, uh, which can take uh, as little as 90 seconds, is where you're deciding whether you would like to enter into a monogamous long-term <laughs> relationship monogamous, with this product. Yes, with your skincare product. Yes. Exactly. I know many of us have that feeling. If we are presenting them products mm -hmm. and we're changing the emollient, which doesn't really change anything except the after feel. After I've rubbed it on okay. to the skin, mm -hmm. I can feel a difference in the emollients, but it, that appearance pick up and rub out okay. are unchanged when I don't change the emulsifier. We're finding is people are going to have to relearn or maybe learn for the first time really how to formulate. Interesting. Because okay. if you're changing the emulsifier, that's the harder thing to change. Oh, okay. And you're better off and what we're uh, showing people to do is rather than guessing what they're going to like is that you build a palette like an artist's palette okay. and you bring that to your target audience I see. because they can't describe very well what they want or they all say the same thing 
but they know it when they feel it. The next time you see Mark Chandler, we will be at the Formulation yes, Challenge. Yes, we will. And we will be going through some of that sensory evaluation. I will see if I can get some information on you for terminology that I can share with you so that you guys can learn a little bit more about how to evaluate your skincare formulations. All right? I'll see Great. you guys later. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.